Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? We have 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x equals to 24. And from here, we can factor 4 raised to power x out. And uh, when we divide by 4 raised to power x, we remain 1 plus 1, then plus 1, which is equal to 24. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. So we have 4 raised to the power x multiplied by 3 equals to 24. Then from here, to remove this 3, let's divide both sides by 3. And 3 will cancel out there. And 3 can go in 24, that's 8. So here we have 4 raised to the power x will now be equal to 8 from here. Then we discover we can change both sides to have same base, and that is base 2. So we have 2 raised to power 2, which is c4, then raised to power x now. Also we have this as 2 raised to power 3, which is c8. Then this power multiplied as 2 raised to power 2x equals to 2 raised to power 3. Then from here, we have same base on the two sides, then we equate the power, so 2x equals to 3. Then divide both sides by 2 to cancel these two, so we have x now equals to 3 over 2. Then from here, let's check and see if this will satisfy the given problem. So we have 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x plus 4 raised to power x equals to 24. When we substitute the value of x, we have 4 raised to power 3 over 2 plus 4 raised to power 3 over 2 then plus 4 raised to power 3 over 2 equals to 24. Then this will give us 2 square then raised to power 3 over 2 then plus 2 square raised to power 3 over 2 then plus 2 square also raised to power 3 over 2 it is equal to 24 from here then since this power multiplies we have here cancel each other that remains 2 raised to power 3 similarly here remain 2 raised to power 3 also from here remain 2 raised to power 3 which is equal to 20 is equal to 24 we are checking and from here we have 2 raised to the power 3, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, plus 8, then plus 8, is equal to 24. Then of course 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24, which is equal to 24. And we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore we can conclude from here that s equals to 3 over 2 satisfies the given uh, problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye for now.